Barcelona is the capital of the region of Catalonia. It's also the second largest city of Spain. Many surveys uh, have uh, stated that there is a, a good place to live. Within the city, eh, inside the city, people move in a very sustainable way. Only 20% uh, of people use the car for uh, its daily commute. This is a Mediterranean city, like others Mediterranean city, people like very much to walk in the streets. Then there are a lot of people in the streets, in the squares and in the pedestrian areas. The, the number of bikes, it's not very high, but the number of pedestrians is very, 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 very high. And this is also is another characteristic of the mobility in this metropolis. We live in the metropolis, 3.2 million of inhabitants. The, the, the use of the car rises, rises to uh, 30%. But that's, that's the, the main data eh, of our movements here. Barcelona, even it's one of the first cities of the country to have an electrical infrastructure. We have less than 40% of electrical vehicles than the average of Europe. The metropolitan area of Barcelona is a huge city with more than 3 million people living there. And in consequence, the traffic are very high. People use a lot the private cars or the motorcycles or vehicles like this. They use, and then the traffic are very high and the pollution also is very, very high. This is a, this is a problem. Air quality in Barcelona is one of the biggest uh, problems that, that we have in terms of public health. We are impro improving these levels, but nowadays 70% uh, of the population are exposed to uh, higher uh, levels of N NO2. And we are implementing uh, several uh, actions to, to improve the, the quality of, of, of the air. For that, uh, the main action that we are developing is the low emission zone. The low emission zone uh, in the area of the ring road of, of Barcelona is the biggest low emission zone in the south of Europe, the first uh, low emission zone in Spain. With this action, we have uh, reduced more or less 10% of the most polluting vehicles. The number of commuters between the municipalities around Barcelona and the city center of Barcelona are also very high during the labor days. This kind of journeys are motivated for shopping, are motivated for studies, especially are motivated for work. The use of, of, of public transport is not, not enough in order to decrease the number of, of vehicles. And this is a, a problem that we need to solve in the next year. And one of the strategies to reduce this is to introduce the electromobility in the mobility area. I think this transition is more a lifestyle choice. For example, in my house, we don't have a car, we check. We share with friends and also with sharing companies. So I think it's a matter of choosing this lifestyle and change your way of, of seeing things and the combustion and I used to have a car, it was a Volkswagen, but it was diesel because of the low emission zone. Since November, I had to get rid of, of it. Since then, I'm a member of Som Mobilitat, which is a cooperative of electric mobility. I also just bought a new e-bike. Since we are members of Som Mobilitat, Som Mobilitat is a, is a company, is a cooperative of electric car sharing. Since we are members of it, we are using less and less the car because we see other alternatives.
The nice thing of the car sharing companies is that in the end you use the car as the last option. You are always trying to find uh, public transport uh, possibilities but also bike possibilities. So I think that's really the future. Mobility is very important to, as a tool to reduce our contribution to climate change but also pollution problems and also uh, noise problems in the city and accidentality. So in the end when, you, when we are um, reducing the use of car, uh, this is really good for the environment. I think all the cities that work in the Julep Chip project have in common that they want to, to lead the electric mobility transition and they want to improve the quality of life of their citizens. Also, I think for the companies it's interesting because they will be able to develop new products and test them before going to the market. So in Barcelona, we are going to be demonstrating different products. There, let's say there's a more software part. There will be a tool to uh, improve the, ma the management and the planification of the, of the new charging points. There will be another one that we will be testing that uh, serves to basculate energy between different charging points. So one vehicle and another one can choose how the amount of energy uh, they are going to, to use to charge. And uh, the other ones that are like more hardware products will be for uh, charging with solar panels for light electrical vehicles. And the other one is uh, an, an, in, an inductive charge that will be done uh, modifying a vehicle from our fleet and uh, we will be making in our parking the path to be able to do this, this charging wireless, let's say. I think in this last product it would be very interesting because it would make the procedure much easier for charging. The infrastructure is a key element of the, of the electric mobility and there are different inputs which are quite new for, for the bus sector in order to, to plan this, this infrastructure. First of all, we have to get in contact with the su uh, supply, with the utility, with the company which provides the electricity and we have, we have to plan all the power and the points where we need this um, electricity supply. This is a, a, a new step that was not uh, being done before and is a, a, it's very important. The other main challenge with the infrastructure is also that we have to explain to the municipalities that if the municipalities want electric buses for the public service, these municipalities have to provide also some places, some, some facilities in order to, to build the infrastructure, the electric infrastructure. This means either in depots or also in the street. Now in the city of Barcelona, we have more or less 30 charging points, quick charging points in all the, all the area of the municipality of Barcelona. But we have 10 charging points more around the city of Barcelona in 10 municipalities of the metropolitan area. This is an important network, but it's not enough for uh, this big area. Then in the future, we try to, to increase the number of charging points. In the middle of Barcelona, perhaps the number will arrive in the next year to 50 charging points. And in the rest of the area, we are working in a new project for 30 more charging points. This means at, at, at the end of, the, of these projects, we will have more or less 40, 45 charging points in all the municipalities around Barcelona. Taxi Ecològic va néixer a l'octubre del 2012 amb una flota de vehicles híbrids, taxis eh, grocs i negres de l'AMB, de l'Àrea Metropolitana de Barcelona. Amb els nostres inicis vam començar amb aquesta tipologia de vehicle. Va agradar molt al client perquè donava una sensació d'estar de, flotant dins del cotxe. Això es va, es va ajudar a guanyar clients i amb el pas del temps es van adonar que el millor era la qualitat del servei i hem evolucionat cap a aquest tipus de, de conscienciació, de motivació i a poc a poc estem, estem millorant i creixem a la nostra flota de vehicles 100% elèctrics. Les avantatges que estem trobant o desavantatges per que un taxista pugui acabar 
decidir a l'hora d'adquirir un vehicle si en passa elèctric, a part d'una mancança d'informació important també pels propis venedors, és que els taxistes pensen que quan millor autonomia, millor vehicle és. I això és directament proporcional amb un cost superior d'adquisició. I això el que comporta és que al final no puguin acabar accedint a aquest cotxe per el cost que té. Els taxistes que estan comprant un cotxe elèctric sí que ho fan sempre amb la condició que el podran carregar a casa. I potser no és necessari aquesta opció si disposem d'una bona xarxa de recàrrega a la ciutat, a l'àrea metropolitana de Barcelona o a qualsevol via ràpida. The, the market for the electric vehicles, it's, it's difficult at this moment in Spain. But the, the things began to change. And I think in the next year we will be a change in this. Especially if the economic situation mm, improves, more or less. Because now with the pandemic and things like this, the, the situation is not very good. And it's difficult for the electric cars to, to have uh, enough uh, customers or, or enough clients at this moment here.